One of the great things about having a computer is being able to share pictures with friends and family through email. However, when you're sharing your favorite pictures from your digital camera, it's important to pay attention to the size of the picture files. Have a look at this picture file. Notice that the size of this file is a little over 2 megabytes. If I send this to someone in email, they'll have to wait for that large file to download to their computer and that might take several minutes. It's also important to realize that some people have what's called metered internet and they pay for how much data that they receive. So your big picture file might end up costing those people some big money. The solution to this problem is to reduce the file size before you send the picture through email. Now most applications that are used for working with digital pictures have a function that will allow you to do that easily. In this GeekCast, I'm going to show you how to do it with Windows Live Photo Gallery, which is a free program from Microsoft available at get.live.com. I'm going to double click on this image file to open it in Windows Live Photo Gallery. Notice the email button at the top of the screen. When I click that, I'm given an option of changing the photo size to a size that's more appropriate for an email message. Notice that Windows Live Photo Gallery shows me approximately how big the resized picture file will be. In this case, the resized picture is about 230 kilobytes, which is about one-eighth of the original file size. Now I can make that file smaller by choosing a smaller size in the photo size drop-down, but if I do that, it's also going to make the screen size of the picture smaller, and I typically like to send pictures at a screen size of 1024 by 768. So I'll accept the medium setting as shown here. When I click Attach, Windows Live Photo Gallery launches my email program, and my resized picture file is attached, ready to be addressed to my friends and family and shared with them. By resizing your pictures before sending them to friends and family, you can prevent the frustrations that can occur when the email is received on the other end. Look for more GeekCast videos at www.bethegeekguide.com. And thanks for watching.